How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I have for you guys a couple games of ranked seasons. I'm going to be going over some game highlights and I'm also going to be talking about what's up and coming in MLB The Show for the next week. For this first game we have Adam Wainwright on the mound. This opponent has Mike Scott. And this opponent has a very good team. He is the home team playing at Shippett Field as well. And uh, Tony Gwynn's going to send that one foul for a home run. That's going to be strike two. Definitely early but squared up on that one. Definitely hit it hard as well. Unfortunate that I wasn't able to start this game off with a solo shot, but I am ripping a base hit through the uh, through the infield there in between first base and second base. That's going to bring up Roberto Alomar, and this opponent paused right away. I have never seen this happen before. He just quit right away after a base hit. No runs were scored, nothing yet, but uh, let's go ahead and hop into this next one. We're currently in the bottom of the 15th inning, and Frank Thomas is actually pitching. I used this card in relief because I ran out of pitchers. I had nobody left that was uh that had any stamina so i had to go ahead and use frank and he's gonna go ahead and get out of this jam as well that's a huge inning i mean bottom of 15th the winning run on third base he gets the ground ball to shortstop keeps him at third and then later in the 16th inning i did line out a couple times in this game and had some chances to score some runs but uh unfortunately the opponent was able to walk it off so the points i got back from the first game after that first base hit I got about 20 points then I lost them in that last game so I've kind of been bouncing around in the championship series a little bit uh, throughout this ranked seasons and uh, that's where I've been struggling so I'm looking to try and make World Series I'm about 840 845 range uh, or 830 something playing this game trying to get right back to where I was and uh, make that push for the last 50 60 points but Anyway, George Brett's going to hit a base hit in this one to start this one off. That's going to bring up Al Kaline, who I recently sold, but uh, I was using this card. This is probably his last game, our last couple games using him. Definitely a solid card. Hits a lot of hard line drives, but uh, just wasn't able to get anything going for power-wise. I mean, I had a couple base hits, but they were all singles. All hit hard, but uh, didn't really tap into his power. I did hit a couple balls to the warning track with him. But unable to score in that first inning, we do have Clayton Kershaw on the mound facing Frank Thomas. Clayton Kershaw is definitely the best pitcher in this game still. I haven't really faced Lefty Grove or used that Lefty Grove, but I'm excited to try and make World Series to get that card. But anyway, um, facing Jose Reyes in this one right here, I'm trying to get him 0-2. I got him with the fastball. That's, now he has a guy on second base in each row. This opponent was definitely aggressive, trying to steal the extra bag anytime he got a runner on. Uh, whether that was with a walk, whether he got hit by a pitch or something. He's always looking to take the extra base. Here, George Brett just misses the uh, the line drive right past out of his reach. That is going to be a single. I thought he was, might have a chance to move up to second there. I wasn't sure if the left fielder was going to make the play there. Duke Snyder does have a tough time sometimes out there in the outfield on some balls down the line. Uh, anyway, he is ripping a base hit. Definitely a good card all around. I've used this card a little bit now. got a couple games with him. Definitely a solid 300 hitter for me so far, and I've only hit one home run with him, but uh, he's a really good card anyway. But we have something cooking kind of in this inning. Two guys on base, no run scored yet in this one, but there's only one down, a 3-0 count to uh, Pablo Sanchez, and I swung at that one. I went down and got that circle change up, hit it off the green monster. I thought it was going to be a home run. I, I mean, I haven't really hit that many home runs in this video so far, but uh, not too much gameplay yet either. I mean... Only really uh, a few clips from a quit and then another crazy extra inning game. There, Kershaw is ripping one up the middle into the gap. That's going to be another run. I wasn't able to get to second base on that one, 25 speed, but that is going to allow me to go up by uh, three runs there. So that's a huge insurance run with Kershaw on the mound. I mean, I, I wasn't really getting anything going at the plate. This opponent really wasn't getting anything going either. I mean, we both kind of were uh, kept off the board for the most part. But uh, bottom of the fourth inning, Kershaw 40 pitches in, and I'm looking to get the best outing from him as possible because, as you guys saw in the previous game, I went 15, 16 innings, and I uh, used my entire bullpen. I mean, I even had Frank Thomas pitching, so I uh, didn't want to go to the bullpen in this one, if possible, because they were all really tired, and Suter had pitched the most in the previous game, so he was not even usable in this one. In this situation, the opponent tried to bunt with Kenny Lofton and Ichiro on first base with uh, kind of like a bunt and run, trying to get anything going. Uh, maybe move the guy over to third base, get him into scoring position. Uh, I'm not really sure what the plan was there, but uh, unfortunately for the opponent, he did bunt into a double play and uh, was able to get something going in the next inning. I mean, he started that inning off with the base hit. So he definitely could hit the ball. I mean, he was uh, 
unfortunate in some some occasions here, like uh, hard hit ground balls turned into some double plays. I mean, he had some line out, some fly balls that were hit pretty well that I was able to track down out there in the outfield and uh, just hitting the ball pretty hard, just right to the fielders. It happens. And uh, I mean, for the for the most part, both of us were were kept off the board in this one. I mean, we were both kind of hitting the ball to each other's fielders a good amount of times. That one, I thought he was going to be able to make that play on that base hit up the middle from Roberto Alomar. Uh, it would have been a tough play to make, but I think he might have been able to dive for that one and at least stop it. But anyway, wasn't able to score off that hit. Uh, the opponent is starting this next inning off with a base knock. And this is what I was talking about a little bit with Duke Snyder. There, at least I was able to kick the ball and stop it. But that one would have went all the way to the wall, and he would have been able to get extra bases just because he didn't lock onto it. He wasn't able to field it. I don't really know what happened there, but uh, luckily I was able to get this out. Uh, not going to turn two on that one. Frank Thomas was in slow motion over there. At least he was able to field it and get the lead runner out, even though now it has Jose Reyes on first base. I knew he was going to steal right here, but uh, unfortunately I'm unable to get him, even though it was a decent pitch, good throw, and uh, he's still in there safely. Didn't really go to a slide step in this game so far, but then the opponent is going to uh, hit one with Kenny Lofton in the next inning. He was sitting on that curveball. I think that that was the best pitch for him to hit, and I was kind of testing some things out in that last inning, trying to see what I could throw to him and see if he was on that pitch. But um, anyway, I wasn't really trying to drag bunt with Kershaw. I was just trying to steal and do a regular bunt, but uh, it really cost me any chance of scoring in that inning. I lined out with Tony Gwynn afterward and I would have been able to score at least a run maybe two in that one if I was able to get the runners over and do the job that I was trying to do with Kershaw but for whatever reason he went for a drag bunt uh, then this play in center field I don't really know what happened I was trying to lock onto the ball with Tony Gwynn he does have the gold fielding in center field so that might play into effect there but nonetheless I was able to throw the guy out at the plate which keeps the shutout intact I did have a mission for a complete game shutout that would give me seven program stars and I was able to get the uh, the fly out there from Frank Thomas to Tony Gwynn to end it now I'm going up against an opponent who I might have played against uh, real baseball with growing up I noticed his PSN and I do know somebody by the with the last name of this name so it might be him. I think that this guy is also a Seattle Mariners fan. He does have Mariners jerseys. Oh, we are playing at Coors Field. So I wasn't really sure. He didn't come into the live stream and uh, say anything, but I uh, I just thought that this was pretty cool. This might be the second time that I matched up with somebody that I played against in actual baseball in real life and everything. But anyway, Al Kaline is clutching up with that base hit with two outs, scoring the first run of the game. It's nice to go up one nothing after I was uh, kind of struggling in that last game. To really get something going after stringing together a few base hits. I mean, I only had that one inning where I scored three runs. Other than that, I was pretty much held off the board. But um, now we have Frank Thomas up, two down in this one, and a chance to kind of break the game open. That was a really good pitch to uh, to take a hack at, that cutter over the middle. I did not swing at it. I kind of got a check swing animation. I really wasn't all that ready for it. But uh, that pitch, the very next pitch I was ready for, it was a slider. Definitely a good spot. I could have knocked that one for a base hit and scored another run. But now that I was able to go up by one at least, I'm looking to uh, have a shutdown inning. I was able to shut him down in the bottom of the first. And now I'm just trying to continue to tack on. I mean, starting to swing the bats a little bit better. I line one to center field. That's going to be off the wall from Pablo Sanchez. Definitely squared that one up and hit it really well. Uh, probably the best hit I've had with him in a while. That's going to bring up Madison Bumgarner, and Madison Bumgarner can really hit. I mean, if I'm facing Madison Bumgarner in this one. He can really swing it. I've hit a couple home runs with him, even a multi-homer game. And there I lined out on a curveball. I didn't really have it uh, squared up completely, but it was good exit velocity. It was hit hard, just right to the second baseman. I had a chance to score a run on that last hit, but Tony Gwynn is going to send that one into right field. So a couple hard hit line drives right to the outfielders, right to the infielders. It happens. I mean, I had a chance to score in that inning once again. That's really all I can ask for is, I mean, a chance to tack on to the lead uh, each time I get up to the plate. I mean, as long as I'm having some good at-bats, then that's really what I'm trying to do. So I uh, was able to keep him off the board as well with that double play on Alan Trammell. Frank Thomas is ripping a base hit. That would have been nice to have in the first inning. I was more ready for that cutter, though, first pitch of that at-bat. And uh, that's going to bring up Pablo Sanchez, who I was I swung at that one. I wasn't on it with the PCI. Somehow gets a no-doubter animation. Uh, that swing, I mean, I had the PCI over the middle of the plate. That was more of a cutter on the inside corner, and he smashed it out. But then um, this opponent is responding with a double into the gap. That could even be a triple, depending on how quickly Tony Gwynn can get this one in. I do have Cal Ripken playing shortstop, so 
I think he would have been thrown out at third. It was best for him to just stay at second base, but he does have some good speed on the corners here. He has Tony Gwynn on first with Roberto Alomar at uh, third base. He reached on an error from Frank Thomas. It was a really slow ground ball to Frank. He botched it, and that's going to bring up Frank Thomas. But luckily, I get the double play ball. I, in this situation, I'm willing to trade a run for two outs. I mean, halfway through the game, I had a three-run lead. And it might not be the best move uh, if he's able to hit a home run here, but it worked out all right because Al Kaline is able to track that one down. And that's going to be actually a double play because uh, Duke Snyder thought that that ball was down. The opponent thought that, that ball was down. So he uh, tried to extend and get to third base. But uh, later on in the game, up by a couple runs, Frank Thomas is going to extend the lead, making it a 6-2 to two game. I did end up getting a dub on that one. And I am ready for the fifth inning program. Just wanted to let you guys know that I'm waiting for them to reveal the fifth inning program cards before I lock in these cards, but I will be able to get 30K stubs and 5,000 XP. But thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up on it and subscribe if you are new. I'll see you in the next video. I'll be debuting Andrew McCutcheon. Peace out.